Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Chrome Ben Baller Edition Baseball 12 box pick your team number 14 from Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com Big thanks to this group for making it happen Filled this up straight up, no filler, I appreciate that Tyler with Last Spot Mojo, good luck 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo it's 100% of the time, so let's see how that works out. Right. Now, remember, uh, Ben Baller, the autos, Autos are few and far between, so I wouldn't set my expectations too high for autographs, but definitely a lot of parallels in here. That's that's the kind of stuff we want to get, especially some low numbered parallels. Apparently the Ben Baller resale market is still uh, is still hot, so the stuff has been selling pretty well. I don't think we have any more for uh, group breaks at the moment, but if you go to Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram Live, at Jaspies Breaks, at Jaspies Breaks, we got personal boxes available, but I'm sure we'll get some cases for another Pick Your Team uh, soon, because this stuff has been selling well and continuing to sell well, so we'll keep dipping our toes in there. We just need to wait for some more cases to get ripe and ready for the picking in our big hit garden where we grow all of these cases. All right, so let's do another roll call here. Who's here uh, in this break watching live? Who has a team in this break? I see James is in with Toronto and Washington. I saw Kevin earlier with the Reds. Cubs B-Ball 92 must be Tyler who has the A's. Anyone else? Thanks for uh, spending some of your Monday night with us. I appreciate that. It's our first break of the day. Many more breaks we can do today on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of already tired of spring training. Oh my God, let's get to the end of the month. Let's start seeing some some pitches being thrown in anger. There's Salvador Perez to 75. Teoscar Hernandez, green. It's going to go to James and the Jays. That's to 99. And Teoscar goes to Maloon and KC. That's 275, 48 out of 75. So apparently, so we, we heard of all the, the shift rules, right? That have changed. So I think wherever, I don't think Joey Gallo's with the Yankees anymore, but wherever Joey Gallo is, they... So all the people, all the infielders are right where they need to be. You know, you know what a, a team did? I forget who it was. Red Sox maybe? So you have the three outfielders, right? They just brought the right fielder in and then shifted the two outfielders over and brought the right fielder right in where his toes were on the dirt. That's the workaround now. There's 77 out of 99 Dodgers edition of Pujols for Jonathan. So the shift still still kind of exists. There's Jesse Winker to 50. Jesse Winker for Kevin and the Reds.
And there's a Wander Franco die cut for the Rays. Rob with the Rays, nice. And a Moose to 25 for Kevin. There's Nolan Arenado to 50 for the Cardinals. Rob Clemens with that. And we got a, for Rob Wager, we got Rob W with a Wander. All right, box one in the books. Let's carry on. Box two. Well, oh, World Baseball Classic, ladies and gentlemen, starts manana. I was about to ask, when is this going on? Tomorrow. You know, initially I kind of wasn't super interested in the World Baseball class, but now that it's upon us, now, now I'm kind of excited about it. So Tuesday, hold on a second here. Tuesday, it's Cuba at the Netherlands. 11 o'clock Eastern, 11 p.m. Eastern. So it's gonna be late for some of you, but it'll be eight o'clock West Coast time, so prime time for us. FS1, that's your, that's your opening game. There's no other games tomorrow. I'm assuming more of a full schedule other days. And I think we got games in Arizona, in Asia, and in Florida, so it's kind of all over the place. And we've got, oh, so this is kind of weird. So we got Panama at, uh, at Taiwan, I believe, at 6 a.m. Eastern on Wednesday. Then Australia at Korea. 10 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday, and then Panama, Netherlands at 11 p.m. Eastern. I guess enough time has passed by that for the United States, we'll see two games in one, but for the time change and all that, looks like they'll, they'll play a game, they'll play an early game, and then go to bed, wake up, and they'll play a late game. But for us, it'll all be in the same day. When's the first U.S. game? Then on Thursday, China, Japan, Italy at Cuba, Czech Republic at China, Cuba at Panama. Friday, Korea at Japan, Italy, Taiwan, China, Australia, Panama, Italy. Saturday the 11th. That's when we're playing. Saturday the 11th. 9 p.m. Eastern. Great Britain. At the United States. Here's a Torkelson die cut number. Nice. 11 out of 50. Tigers. Steve Locke. If I could get this penny sleeve into the top loader, that'd be nice. There we go. There you go, Steve. Nice. So actually, this will, uh, World Baseball Classic will actually be pretty competitive, I would think, so. More competitive than your spring training matchups. You can finally watch some, some proper competitive baseball instead of 
Spring training. Gilo, what's going on, Gabe? Good day. Got Vidal Brujan, 74 out of 99 for the Rays. Rob W. with the Rays. Got Robbie Grossman, 6 out of 10. It's a nice low number for Steve and the Tigers. Moose, another moose for Kevin to 75. Andre Jackson for the Dodgers to 99 for Jonathan. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Lars Newtbar for the Cardinals. Rob C. 12 out of 50 on that. Oh, Gilo, Gabe, you're taking the plunge, huh? You're registered an LLC to start your online card shop. Tell me more. Are we going to be competitors? Do we have to... Does the, does the mighty Jaspies have to, have to crush you? What are you going to be selling? The Mighty Jaspies will not crush you. So the World Baseball Classic Miami, Phoenix, Taichung, and Tokyo. These are no longer breaks to me. Right, Diego's wondering if he can join in on the business. Well, what are you gonna be what are you gonna be doing? What are you selling? I don't know. If Gabe ends up being successful, we can we can maybe uh, maybe rope Gilo into into our business. Let's see how good of a businessman Gilo is. Sheila says, mostly sealed and graded cards for you. Other card games may venture into the Warhammer side. Make me come in. That's not the way it works, Sheila. We buy you. You don't buy us. You know? We know people. We know people who might distribute Warhammer stuff. Who was saying the other day, yeah, the Legion of Lopez will thrive, Diego. Who, who was, uh, I'm blanking on who it was, but someone was saying that, was it Chris Jaspi or someone else? Anyway, someone was saying they knew someone who, uh, who just paints the Warhammer, uh, what's the right word, Gila, so I don't offend the Warhammer community. I can't say figurines. Characters? <laughs> Models? Anyway, that would paint Warhammer stuff and actually charge people and make a decent sideline from it. There's Otani die cut. Models, got it. I don't want to say I'm going to be a breaker yet, but you'd love to go down that road. Ooh, nice blue Wander Franco. 14 out of 75. Nice one for Rob W. and the Rays. Well, the breaking world is has gotten a little difficult. It's 25 out of 25. Sean Mania for Tyler and the A's. Because 
unless you have some relationships with distributors, I think you're rarely going to get product at cost, which will definitely affect your margins. So it is a challenge. There's Austin Riley to 99 for the Braves. But if you have a local card shop in your area, you might be able to work a deal with them to try to get some stuff. Here's Warner Franco, ride and low insert. I really like these inserts. So sometimes these can be numbered, but I think if you have the little black line right there, those are the standard ones. If you see different colors there, then those might be numbered. So let's keep an eye out for those. Nice O'Neill Cruz, 47 out of 75, rookie blue for Stephen Carney and the Pirates. Yeah, that, that's what that's what Gilo has told me a number of times, that Henry Cavill is a big fan of Warhammer. But you don't know if he actually paints. Yeah, Like, I feel like that would be the most difficult part of the, you know, and this coming from like, you know, I've done some art in the past, oil paints, oil pastels mostly, paints and pastels, some charcoal, but on like larger canvases. There's Darvish to 99. Uh, the Jordan will go to Jose and the Astros. You Darvish goes to Rob W. and the Padres. But I can't imagine painting something that small. Like, I, I never really did, like, airplane models or anything like that. I just feel like that's very, very difficult. No, I'm not being headhunt. I'm, I'm headhunting Gabe. Yeah, I mean, if you, there are ways though, Gabe, like you can probably find, you can, if you dig around enough, I think there's probably opportunities to try to buy, you know, to try to find someone who's maybe liquidating product and you can, you can jump in there, try to get some stuff at a good price. Yeah, sometimes at card shows, if you pay in cash, some people might be selling cases that you can get for a decent margin and then flip back again at a little bit of a profit and just kind of keep building little by little, just like Jaspies. But the requirements for distributors are pretty tough and I think there are some, uh, some question marks of what distributors roles are gonna be over the coming years with, with, uh, with fanatics and everything. So that's something just to keep in mind. But yeah, I think just it's just a classic, you know, you're in a classic buy low, sell high situation, you know, and just start small and keep building. It's what, uh, it's what, it's what we did, you know, when we started eight or nine years ago. It's not like, you know, we flipped on a live stream and all of a sudden we were just, you know, gangbusters. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, me and Nick Jaspi posting breaks on eBay, trying to trying to scare up a little money, breaking cases two nights a week, and then shipping the rest of the time and acquiring other products. You know? And it really tests your, I mean, I don't know, to me, as someone who loves fantasy sports, like the hobby, in a way, is like the ultimate sort of fantasy sports. You know, are you, are you betting on Gavin Sheets or not, you know? Are you bullish or bearish on, on Wander Franco? That sort of stuff. There's Tim Anderson to 99. So, you know, what kind of position are you going to take on particular players? It's interesting. Brandon Crawford for the Giants. Brady and the Giants to 50... Tim Anderson for the White Sox. That'll be for Eric B. Aaron Judge die cut. Fidel Brujan to 75. 
Wait, what's going on with those Dodger seats? We need some room for the for more I kind of want that. The bike throw is dumb. Whoa! No, 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 no. Three fifty. A couple of Dodger fans. Go Angels! Juan Franco in that late 80s design, the old wood border, 87 I think. That'll be for Rob W. and the Rays. Another Wander Franco. I think, what, what was the gang telling me the other last time we did this break? Was that Wander Franco obviously is desirable but not short printed? Not a short printed rookie, whereas Julio Rodriguez and Spencer Torkelson are. Is this out of five? It is five out of five. Mike Mustakis. You find your. I mean, we pulled a few of different parallels of these, Kevin. If you find a one of one, you might be on your way to a to a Moose Rainbow. Got the out of five knocked out for you, Kevin. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo! In stereo. Got Kyle Hendricks to 99. John Gray to 75 for the Rangers. That's going to go to Tristan in Texas. Kyle Hendricks goes to Eric B. and the Cubs. So Gabe saying, honestly, my decision was to do was seeing the amount of people at car shows just not knowing what they're doing. A lot of them weren't even vendors, just some guy and his kids. Yeah. Although you'd be surprised at, I mean, at least the kids in our area, how sharp they are on, on a, uh, on just knowing like the the latest price for a card. Like we got like ten year old kids who are like negotiating with our guys here. And then being like, no, sorry, pass. <laughs> so, well, I, well, Gilo, you've you've got a full time job though. How much how much time are you committing to this? Yeah, it, it, it is interesting. I think a lot of times you'll see like, um, you'll see some dudes, you know, you'll see some people uh, just have a lot of disposable income who'll get really heavy into the hobby. And then all of a sudden they've got like a whole dinner table full of, full of stuff. And they don't, then they realize, oh wait, what do we do with this? I know this is valued at X price, but Wait a second, am I going to card shows? Am I setting up? Like, how am I actually selling this? Am I really gonna give up, you know, the however many percent you give up to eBay and PayPal for the fees? A lot of people don't end up grading, you know, which makes a big difference between a sale and a non-sale. Otherwise, people just try to lowball you on raw cards just so they can grade it and then flip it at, a, at the graded price. Well, Gabe, if you're serious about this, I think one of the things you got to do, all right, you work the nine to five, then five to whatever. It's true. You are here pretty much every night. Yeah, you can just keep us on the background while you're doing your work. You know, and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be happy to, to share whatever advice I can. Kiba Ruiz to 99. So we can we can we can chat offline if you ever want to. Stuart Fairchild to 25 for Arizona. 
That'll be for Stephen Carney. The Crone Zone, Jay Cronenworth, the 75. That's for Rob W. and the Padres. We got Connor Wong, 98 out of 99. That is for the Red Sox. That's going to go to Stephen Carney in Boston. And then down to New York out of 75, Joey Gallo for Rob W. and the Bronx Bombers. There's Bobby Witt Jr. I think he's the other rookie that's shorter printed. Wander is a little, the more common of the elite tier rookies. Uh, Maloon with the Royals gets the ride and low insert Bobby Witt Jr. Charlie Blackman to 50. That is for Tristan and the Rocks. And then we got uh, O'Neill Cruz, 14 out of 50 die cut. Yeah, I mean, if you put the work into it, it's, it's a lot of fun. And if you've got some, if you've got some business acumen, you know, and have a good eye for Buying low and selling high, classic. You can do it. All right, box six. You know, what I think you should really do, Gabe, is uh, you got to go to the national this year. I think if, if you're serious about this and you've got an LLC lined up and if you're committed to this, I really think you got to go to the National because, I mean, it's obviously a massive card show and you could, in one, in one stop, you could probably, you know, load up on inventory or just, just talk to people in the hobby and just could be just a fact-finding trip too. But I think one thing is um, with your stuff that you already have, um, you go to the National early and to get uh, get your stuff graded. Both Beckett and PSA are on site there. And, they, uh, and I think at least PSA slabs on site. And if you get there early enough, you might be able to get all that by the end of the week. that and plus all the inventory you can get at the national people are always buying and selling stuff I mean that could be just one big one big one-stop shop to get things going especially for the fall fall winter seasons Yeah, cheap trainer. Places say not so cheap. I think you could find some places because I think uh, you know if you want to go directly next to the convention center. Yeah, I think those places are going to be pretty pricey. But if you're already taking a train, they've got a pretty good public transportation system. You can probably find a uh, cheaper hotel that's maybe you know, excuse me, a number of spot, a number of stops away but still within walking distance to the convention center. There's ways to figure that out. But I don't know, I guess it depends on how quickly you want to get things going. But if you were being a little more aggressive in your timeline, there's Byron Bucks into 99, twins for Brandon. I mean, why not just go to the plan for the national this year? Invest a little money into it. And you can hit the ground running after that. Jonathan India, 7 out of 50 for the Reds. Kevin. Got a Hunter Green die cut, also for Kevin. Could have a big year this year. Joe Ryan, 75 out of 75. That is for the Twins, Brandon.
We got Astros edition of Justin Verlander to 75. That's for Jose. Got a Nolan Arenado, 25 out of 25. Cardinals, Rob C. All right. Are you worried about that, Gilo? Thankfully, none of them have been passenger trains, right? So as long as you're taking a passenger train, you should be fine. 18 out of 25, Freddie Freeman, die cut. Uh, for the Dodgers, that's going to be for Jonathan. Bobby Witt Jr., 1987 design. That's going to be for Maloon and the Royals. All right, halfway through this full case break. Next. Toasty in the uh, toasty in the in the studio in the late afternoon. You're more scared of train rides and airplanes. I'm scared of neither. I enjoy traveling on both of those mediums. DB Connor, well, thanks for letting me know. Appreciate it. I'll, uh, we still have about. A ways to go in this break. If you look at the schedule, we've got about another 30, 40 minutes to go. But after I'm done with this, I'm going to all go through orders, and then we'll uh, we'll see what else is full or being filled up, as the case might be. I'll be honest with you, if we really want to get that finest triple caser done tonight, um, if it's of any motive, you know, this might motivate you a little bit, but, well, actually, well, remember, uh, Connor, there's also, don't forget the fillers for that finest break. But if that one full spot that's remaining, if that sells out, then we can um, then we can cancel a filler. But we're planning on like three fillers for it, so we still have to work on those. Now, when we, as, as always, when we get to our last filler, we'll always write last filler in the title. So it doesn't say that, so you can assume that there are, there are multiple still remaining. But we're getting there. Let's keep chipping away at it. And there's a Bobby Wood Jr. As I said, I, I think Bobby Wood Jr., Julio Rodriguez, and Spencer Torkelson, I think people were telling me, are a little more short printed than, say, Wander Franco, for example. All right, Maloon with the Royals. There's Sean Manaya to 75. 
Wow, and a Julio Rodriguez autograph. The autographs are few and far between, John. But John got Seattle straight up. Gets the Julio Rodriguez on-card rookie autograph, 49 out of 50. Nice. Congrats. And Tyler gets the Sean Manaya to 75. Giancarlo Stanton to 15. It's for Rob W. and the Yankees. Dylan Carlson to 75 for the Cardinals. Rob C. with that. Reed Detmers to 99, and then Freddie Freeman die cut. Wow, just the chat, too cool for school. They're like, we've seen Jaspies pull better Julios than that. No reaction in the chat. Brady to 50. Uh, Brady has the Giants, gets the Longo to 50, that is. Everyone's just like, whatever. No, no, John think, John's, I'm sure John's happy. got a new baseball release coming out on Wednesday. Pre-orders available on jazpiescasebreaks.com. 2022 Bowman's Best Baseball. Pick your teams, pre-order them now. Grab your team before someone else does. There's no, no need to wait on a pick your team. If you see your team, get your team. We've got eight cases loaded up for pre-orders, so get in on it. I'm a fan of the Bowman's Best. Should be some nice stuff in there. Mostly prospect hunting. It is a Bowman product, but popular one from year to year. World Baseball Classic starts tomorrow. We were just talking about that a little bit earlier. J-Rod departing for the Classic. A dream becoming a reality, he says. Trout extremely excited to... Uh, head to the Classic, face Angel's teammates. So teams are, players are heading off to their respective places in the world for the World Baseball Classic. I'm trying to see what the, what the scheduling is going to look like here. Come out for the first game. I actually think uh, I actually think Jason Jaspi is going out for for a game. I, I did not plan this correctly. I should have. I could I could just leave now. What, what the U.S. games on Saturday? Let's drive back really quick. In my head, Phoenix is a lot closer than I think, but it's not. Like, in my head, I think, oh, yeah, it's like basically Vegas distance. But it's not. It's like a couple hours further. Yeah, Connor's saying Mariners have seven players in the World Baseball Classic. I asked one of them not to go. Got Brian Anderson to 25 for Miami. That's going to be for Stephen Carney. The 1987 Julio Rodriguez for John and the Mariners.
We got a Julio Urias, 63 out of 75 for Jonathan and the Dodgers. And then we've got a Wander for Rob W. and the Rays. I mean, I think for what it's worth, I think it'll be uh, for the players that have a, oh, so you can see that green right there. So this Torkelson with the black, it's normal, not numbered. The Otani is green, that is numbered. 73 out of 99, that's gonna go to Tristan and the Angels. Eli Morgan, 57 out of 99 for Cleveland. Tristan with Cleveland. Yeah, I think the Dominican Republic, as Devin's saying, and the United States, I think, are the, are the top two favorites. Robbie Grossman to 50. Adalas Garcia to 99. And Spencer Torkelson. It's for Steve Locke and the Tigers. No, no more Ben Baller at the moment, RC. Adalas Garcia for Tristan and the Rangers, and Robbie Grossman for Steve Locke and the Tigers. Ah, Castillo is the one saying, hey, rest up that arm, keep it fresh. Another box. Now, so games start on the 7th. That's tomorrow. That's a standalone game, and then all the other games start in earnest. Um, I think this is a rather kind of a quick turnaround. I want to say the last set of matches games will end on the 15th and then on the 15th of March is when the first quarterfinals matches start so 15 17 no 15 16 17 18 those four days will be all the quarterfinals matchups the 19th the 19th and 20th will be uh, the semifinals and then the championship on the 21st so we got what 7th through the 21st is that two two weeks? And yeah, about about a about a two week tournament. Pretty quick. Mariners play Team Canada in the coming days. Canada might start Matt Brash. Brash is a pitcher for the Mariners. That'd be pretty interesting. Yeah, and I think, with, if we, again, with teams with a lot of players going to the World Baseball Classic, it would be cool to see some of the youngsters maybe get a little extra time. Players that normally wouldn't get that time in spring training might get some extra work in. Yeah, I don't know. Mariners playing Team Canada in an exhibition match. Any other teams? I would imagine yes. Or is that is that a betting nugget, you think, Devin? You think other teams are not doing little tune-up games? Canada real serious about it. Yoannis Cespedes is on the, I do remember Yoannis Cespedes. I think his half brother or brother is in the White Sox organization. Remember how Yoannis Cespedes like destroyed his ankles on his farm in Florida or something like that. Next box, good luck. We got Bobby Dalbeck to 75 for Boston. That's going to go to Steven.
Got a Bobby Wood Jr. die cut. Not numbered, but still nice. That's going to be for Maloon, Mraz, and the Royals. We got Christian Yelich, 14 out of 99 for the Brewers. That'll be for Brady. Jacob DeGrom, Mets edition to 99 for Steven. Yeah, Mike Piazza is managing Team Italy. You should see the you should see the coaching staff for the United States. We've got a pretty stacked uh, coaching staff, I think. Uh, Nelson Cruz is the manager of the Dominican Republic as well. There's Wander Franco, 21 out of 50, riding low insert, nice. Rob W with the Rays. Trey Auberge, 7 out of 99 for the Reds. That's for Kevin. We've got Jared Kalanick to 50 for the Mariners, John. Joe Adele Juan Soto, three boxes to go. So for the United States, our manager is Mark DeRosa. Your bullpen coach is Dave Rigetti. Remember him? And we got Lou Collier at first base, first base coach. Dino Ebel, Dodgers third base coach, is the third base coach for Team USA. Andy Pettit is your pitching coach. Jerry Manuel is your bench coach. And some guy named Ken Griffey Jr., your hitting coach. That's not bad. Yep, he is. That's pretty pretty good coaching staff. Wonder if Griffey Jr. I don't know where he, where, what, what he's doing with his life right now, but do you think he'd ever be like a hitting coach for a Major League Baseball team? Or maybe he just doesn't want to be involved in the grind of a of a season. Maybe he's fine doing whatever he's doing. What is Griffey Jr. doing these days? Yeah, Lars Nupar is for Japan. I think his mom might be Japanese or something like that. Uh, so for your odds, the Dominican Republic is your favorite, plus 210, about 2 to 1. United States, plus 250, about 2.5 to 1. Japan, almost 3 to 1, plus 275. And then it jumps to Venezuela at 10 to 1. Korea 12 to 1, Puerto Rico 12 to 1, Mexico 18 to 1. That's another tier. And then it jumps to Cuba at 28 to 1, plus 2,800. And then it jumps to another tier again, where you have Netherlands, Canada, and Chinese Taipei at plus 6,500, all grouped together. Hmm. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put, put a little coffee money on on some of the long shots and see what happens. I have to, I'll have to see like who usually wins these things. Ah, so Griffey Jr. is minority owner of the Mariners. Oh, got it. Lot, does a lot of spring training, coaching clinics for the M's, ambassador stuff, but all right.
but nothing full time. Uh, that's the life, I guess. Oh, Griffey's also a special ambassador to Rob Manfred. Mookie Betts die cut. And another autograph. You know, autographs are few and far between here. You don't, maybe one, sometimes, sometimes none. I think we've seen cases with three. I feel like usually it's just one, but here's a second autograph. It's Alec Thomas, 38 out of 50 for Stephen Carney and the Diamondbacks, nice. Always nice to see autos pop. We got Ian Happ to 15, what's the Happ? That will be for the Cubbies and Eric B. We got Julio Rodriguez riding low, insert. John in Seattle. Anyone like any of the World Baseball Classic long shots? Ooh, there's a Julio Rodriguez blue die cut. 72 out of 75. Nice. That's John with Seattle. I wonder if there's like, there's got, I'll have to check, i have to look around, but I'm sure there's gotta be prop bets for it too, right? Most homers in the World Baseball Classic, stuff like that. The Players' Championship in golf is also this week. It's like, I got a lot of, Got a lot of money to put around here. Kyle Muller for uh, Chris Parent and the Braves. Got Casey Mize to 50 for Detroit. And Zach Short also for Detroit to 75, both for Steve Locke and the Tigers. All right, two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Tradio, what's going on? Ready for the slaughtering tomorrow? Your Dortmund is going to steamroll Chelsea. Uh, we got a lot. Is it what is it? Is that a Champions League matchup? I think I think my club Liverpool is pretty much out of it. After getting smoked by Real Madrid in the first leg. I suppose a couple of years ago Liverpool did come back from a big deficit against Barcelona, but it's not quite the same team. Although Although I think there's an international break. So I'm pretty sure that this might be the last, whenever Liverpool play, I think next week. I think after that, there's an international break. So I think it might be a couple of weeks before they play a game. So I wonder if, if, they'll just go, if they'll just get after it, you know? And just be like, hey, we got a couple a couple weeks off. Let's just get after. Let's have some fun. You know, let's let's see what happens. Try not to get injured, but let's just have some fun and see if we can put some goals in the back of the net and goof around. Yeah, that's why they're the favorites, Gilo. Dominican Republic plus two ten. A Julio Rodriguez, one out of 25. It's another one for John. Nice break, John. 
Home of the Julios. We're the home of the Julios. Nice. Now I'll do a little recap so you can check out all the Julios that we pulled here. And we've got a Zach Lothar to 75 for the Orioles. That'll be for CJ. We've got a Spencer Torkelson die cut for Steve Locke and the Tigers. Sort of a rough rookie campaign for him last year, but former number one overall pick. He gets a longer leash, right? Let's see if he can have a really nice season this year. There's Pete Alonzo Green to 99. Yeah, Chase, Jason did pull some nice Julios the other weekend. Got Lucas Giolito, 22 out of 25 for Eric and the White Sox. Connor will trade, uh, John, if you're listening, Connor will trade an energy drink for, the, for some Julios. I think it might, might require a little more than that. Here's another Giolito to 10 this time. One thing that, one thing that I uh, could be an improvement in this set is making a bigger distinction between the parallels. I feel like those colors are awfully similar. Even that of five, sometimes it almost looks like the other ones. It'll just surprise me a little bit. There's Josh Hader, Brewers edition, 45 out of 99. That's gonna to go to Brady and the Brewers. And the final box coming up. Dennis, what's up? I have a question. How can a team be gone, be gone within 15 seconds of the break being posted? I'll tell you. I'll tell you how. First off, it's probably longer than 15 seconds. And uh, there's people on the site that are just watching, hammering the refresh button every minute. And as, as soon as they see something posted, they're buying it. They're probably logged in already. They have all their credit card information, payment information saved. And they're placing those orders. But unfortunately, Dennis, this time just not fast enough. But we'll get him next time, Dennis. We'll get him next time. Final box. Good luck. There's John. Unreal Julio. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, exactly. The, the Mariners can go pretty pretty quickly in breaks like this. And John was finally able to snag him. Had to pounce. And it worked out this time, John. Congrats. Scared money don't make money. And uh, fast fingers also help, too. To get those to get those teams before someone else does. <laughs> yeah, Connor was saying that he'd he'd gladly trade an energy drink for one of those Julios. <laughs> As Rafael Devers in ninety nine. I said I I told him I have a feeling that John might need a little more compensation than that. There's Grisham to fifty, that'll be for the Padres, that's for Rob. The out of 99, Acuna Jr. die cut will go to Chris Parent and the Braves. Got another Wander Franco for Rob W. and the Rays. Got six out of 99, John Means. John Means Business, that goes to CJ and the Orioles. The Logan Gilbert goes to John and the Mariners. And the last little bit here. And that is that. All right, recap time. Check it out. Pretty nice break overall. All right, we got some Wanders, the Torkelson die cut. We got this Julio Rodriguez to 25. The Julio die cut to 75. The ride and low insert. All right, some other nice players, Bobby Witt Jr. We got this base Julio Rodriguez, 87. More Bobby Witts. O'Neill Cruz, that was nice. We got the Moose to five. Got the Torkelson die cut to 50, the Wander die cut, and of course the Julio Rodriguez rookie auto, 49 out of 50. Not too shabby. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.